Hey y'all, it's Cody from Bar 7 Ranch and it's time for our capsule sermon here on Sunday evening. And uh, Eric and I just got back from our trip to New York and when we got into Austin we went down to get our luggage from the from the baggage claim there. And As I was sitting there waiting for our stuff to come off, I noticed a family that was there before us. Uh, mom and a dad and two young boys and they were sitting there and I guess they were trying to you know teach their sons that hey everybody's got to pull their weight so the youngest one that was around five or six years old didn't want to carry his backpack or pull up you know one of their small suitcases or something and the dad was like you know get your get your backpack or see if your brother will carry your backpack and you can pull the you know or this bag and you pull the pull the the suitcase there and Little boy's like, no, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. And he just decided he wanted to just sit down in the floor, throw a, throw a little bit of a fit. Now, this is not a, a, a talk about whether or not we need to use corporal punishment to discipline our children, but it is going to talk about obeying, um, obeying our parents, o o obeying authority. But the rest of the story is, is the dad went and sat down by the kid and he said, you know, I want you to use your words and I want you to tell me what you're feeling and, and let's come to a compromise. And the mom, I could tell, was getting put out and she was like, you know, I'm ready to just, let's go. You know, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready to go to the car. You know, just, let's just leave him here, you know, just trying to get him to, to budge. The little boy wasn't budging. And I watched as they sat there for 15 minutes and they allowed this four or five-year-old kid to dictate the outcome of, of this event that was going on. And it got me to thinking about, you know, the first thing that went through my head is, is in a business atmosphere is you don't allow, you know, the, the low man on the totem pole, the, the, the person that was hired last to run the entire show, you know. Uh, a minimum wage employee is not the person that's in charge of running a multi-million dollar business, you know. Um, you don't allow your children to be, to dictate how things are run in your household. But it also got me to thinking about our walk with God, about how, you know, we don't get to compromise with God. We don't get to say, God, well, God, I don't really want to do that. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I, I want to do this part and this part of your plan, but this part I don't think I'm going to believe in or I don't, I'm not going to do it because that's not the way God sets things up. I mean, God says it. You know, there's an old saying that says, you know, God said it, I believe it, so it must be true. Well, it don't matter if we believe it or not. If God said it, that's the end of it. And, and what I took from this was, you know, there was no discipline there. There was no obedience. What it means to obey, I had a pastor once explain what obedience meant. He said, you know, obedience or to obey meant to do it, to do it right, and to do it right then. And that's what I as a father would have expected out of my child at that time. Yeah, they may not have, you know, got it, but it wouldn't, there's no, there's no negotiation when it comes to that. And there's no negotiation when there's, when it comes to the Word of God. When we read the Bible and we understand it, we can't change it for today's times. This, this book was written for all time. So when we read it, we take it for its face value, we read it like it says, and we go forth from that, and we, and we follow it. So I'm going to leave you with John chapter, chapter 14, verses 15, verse 15, and it says, If you love me, capital me, meaning God or Jesus, keep my commandments. Guys, there's no compromising with the Word of God. We do what it says, we obey it, or we're left behind. Guys, I love you. God bless you. And y'all keep praying.